Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast on Whoa. the new podcast channel. Whoa. It's nice here. Thanks for yeah, clicking. Yeah, it's good. Thanks for coming. Yeah, please remember to like and comment. <laughs> this is very early to be doing a plug. <laughs> but yeah, show your support. I know there's a lot of people that do like the podcast here. Uh, so yeah, now we've got some more regular ones. Try to do weekly. Give you the weekly update on our lives. Yeah, what, happened, of- what happened to bi-weekly? For the last ones, eh? Hey? No, nope, now we're weekly. We've Soon will be every <laughs> we, hour. <laughs> we couldn't do bi-weekly, so we thought, let's do weekly instead. <laughs> let's see how long we can keep it up, guys. I want you in the comments to hold us to it. If we skip a week, this is a bad idea, but we're going to try it out anyway. <laughs> so what's everyone been doing in the last week? Well, that's Wait. great. I'm going to start, <laughs> actually. I've recently made myself a cameo. Oh, and then, oh, Cameo I saw so that. Yeah. I saw oh, that. So, for those of you that don't know, Cameo is like a social media app, I guess, where you can pay famous people like myself to send you a little personalized message. So, they can say happy birthday. They can read out whatever you want them to say. Like, obviously, I'm not going to say anything that's going to get me cancelled, so don't even try. <laughs> but, yeah, it's been pretty fun so far. Uh, and then Peter made a cameo as well. How have you found it? Have you got any yet? I got one request. I haven't done it yet. I got it yesterday and you I haven't had time it right to make it now. yet. No. <laughs> okay. I feel like I was actually thinking about that and then I realized it kind of destroys the like genuine That's one-on-one true. vibe of it because if, if it just sang it in a video to everyone, it's not the same. Okay, like, you don't it, need to shit on me that much, but yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, okay. I, th- I had the same thought as what I was saying, but then yeah. I realized it kind of, it, the point is it's this little personal thing for just that person, which is kind of fun. But I just think it's hilarious. It's just so funny because I was thinking someone might like, because a lot of the people I match into online recognize the name because Australia has such a small mm. scene. So like maybe like if only 10% of people recognize the name, there's still a lot of people if you play some games and they could just like destroy me with their like campy ass Mega Man and make me rage and then pay me like $15 to be like, hi, Kingslayer67. <laughs> that was a great match and I really appreciate your play style. It's God, just so that's the, funny. That's the worst type of request. I've done a few now. I've done... A uh, few for the for one particular guy who one of them was a birthday. Play them happy birthday on the piano. It's it's a good time. You can like you were saying with the people matching into you and then forcing you to say stuff. You can turn certain cameos down, which is kind of why I brought this up because I got a very peculiar oh, request for my cameo. I've excited. already got one that I had to turn down. So let me just pull it up here. <laughs> I don't really, want to get it out. By reading it out, you're kind of doing the cameo almost. He wait, can just wait, wait, clip yeah, this up. No, he, he Peter, can ask you, know you to say is? something. No, I don't. We should all have a guess before he oh, reads it out. Oh, that's good. That's we good. We should all guess what he turned down. I, I, I think it's going to be something calling someone really attractive. It's going to be something like that would make... He's asking Zach to be like... You know what? Like, I think, you know, Alex from Minecraft is super sexy and I want to oh. smash her. Like, something really just telling Zach to say an opinion about attractiveness that isn't right. Uh, what do you oh. think, John? Oh, nah, yeah, I shouldn't have said this because now I, I don't know. Do I think know? it's he wants some uh, Zach to play the piano with his feet and zoom right in. It's <laughs> 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 my guess. Yeah, I reckon it's some, I don't know. I was just thinking some like cancelable song or something that's just like really bad. Zach and just someone's like just screams, trying to troll him. Screams racial slurs for 10 yeah. minutes. And he's like, yeah, that'll be 20 bucks. But make it a Who's song. Who's closest? Oh, I'll have to I'll have to grab it. I'm so excited. How do they request it? Do they just like text like, oh, can yeah, you it's like a message? payment thing. It's just like a, it's like Fiverr almost. Where you're mm-hmm. like a freelance work and they see your price and then they send you a message with the brief of what they want. Ah. So like address it to Steve. Uh, Please say happy birthday and that Yeah, he say happy birthday to Steve and tell him that his Olimar is really awesome and that you think he's cool. Or like anything really. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, okay. Zach's having some issues finding it. Yeah, yeah I know. He's got that many requests. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be in my he's screenshots. Scrolling somewhere. through his eight hundred okay, requests. I could I should have just gone to my screenshots. So you oh, were all wrong, but I think it's better than what any of you guys <laughs> said. Oh my god. So I'm not going to say their name to expose them, but I am going to read out the exact request because I don't think you deserve <laughs> this privacy. poor person. <laughs> just sitting watching me Okay, right so the occasion just being weird. Instructions. Since you have no OnlyFans, sad face. Oh, here we go. That's maybe can you crazy. show off your butt sum for me? If bare butt, I'll cash up $100. <laughs> what? So they paid 20 bucks. Well, they, it, they didn't pay me because I turned it down. <laughs> At least I'm telling you guys that I could have taken <laughs> it under the table, got that bare butt out. 
Um, more about them. Serious offer, not trying to offend you. Sorry if so. Just a weirdo with money that has a crush on a YouTuber. Sorry really? for exposing you. <laughs> But yeah, really yeah that they, does not seem like that's what for the website is for. No. It's like happy birthday, not get your butt out. Like <laughs> it's so different. It's like since you have no OnlyFans, yeah, mate, I've got no OnlyFans for a reason. It's because I don't want people paying me for butt pics. <laughs> Wait, so the base request was what? To show your butt. Just the butt, but yeah. if it was a bare butt. I would have just done it. <laughs> your butt's been in videos before. Yeah, but like then they have this. To a personalized anywhere. pick is very different to just be like, no, just oh, haha, ha, I'm, I'm in my undies. Turned around your video, you're facing like this, and you just say, Happy birthday, mate, but it's just a video of your bum. That's what I would have done. Jackson, it's 20 bucks. I don't know how badly you need oh, money, I but I can, 20 bucks. I can give this on cameo tonight. Dude, you could rack them out. Imagine <laughs> 20 bucks a minute, I reckon. <laughs> would you I start an OnlyFans, Jackson, if there was demand for it? Mm. It sounds like you would. I would it sounds say like you don't no, care. because otherwise he would have started one, because surely there is some demand. Well, I guess that's the point. I would. It needs to be a fair bit of money for me to do it. How much? Hmm. A month? Yeah. You could like quit your job. OnlyFans being your only source of I feel income. Like it that would have to be quite a lot. Let's would say your that'd partner be, quite... be okay with it. Yeah, that's another problem. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine the problem. headline of like Director Cogger quits the underdogs to start OnlyFans. <laughs> Maybe ten thousand a month. Oh, that's so much. You wouldn't. Yeah, yeah no. What? You could do that's, that. That's uh, that's, that's like, what I reckon for the it amount have of to be. work you have to do. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, exactly. That's only like a one thousand and a people half. pay ten bucks. You're done. That's a lot of people. All right, okay, guys, it. only leave a like on this video if you would get Jackson's <laughs> no, 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 only. No, no, we need to grow ten dollars. We need growth. Yeah, yeah. There's a new channel. And if there's a thousand <laughs> likes, he has to start one. <laughs> it it's a dare. It. Well, that's like some of them. The chicks make like a million a month. Yeah, yeah, so they're making they huge money. money. Yeah, crazy. Amaranth <laughs> makes absolute bank off that and Twitch. But I mean, she's a workaholic, so you well, know. That's what I'll do. Fair enough. Twitch. Only fans Jackson, Twitch. the next Amaranth. All you got to do is buy an inflatable hot tub. You're good. Oh, this is the one we we're looking at the other week. Yeah. Not, not like that. We yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were. <laughs> we were curious about how much money she was earning. She's the one that works like half the time. Yeah, so like more. she, what is it? She records like 12 hours. Didn't we talk about this on the last podcast? I don't think we did. I don't think so. Oh, we're talking about it Fellas not the podcast. kind of exposing ourselves <laughs> of how much we know about Amaranth and how much. No, we weren't talking about how it's crazy that she works like 14 hours a day yeah. of streaming on time. On average for I think in the last years. three years, it was 60% of her life is online. Yeah, like, that's on Twitch, crazy. Recorded. And then she also has to make stuff for her OnlyFans and all the other ventures. It's I could insane. never be a streamer like that. I was, I was looking at XQC, like the biggest streamer, his past broadca broadcast. And in hours, it was like 20, 14, 21, wow. 12. And I was like, oh my God, I, I could never do they it. They just this go much. hard. That's yeah. why lots of people have been starting to like watch TV shows and just like, you know, oh, reuse stream, other yeah. content on stream. And then like, that's become a massive thing these days. And then obviously everyone's getting banned for doing it like Pokimane and Disguise Toast. Wait, you get, you just. Twitch, you yeah, you watch MasterChef, Avatar, you just anything you want. MasterChef. What people <laughs> watch anime on their stream and people and watch it's like, that. Yeah, yeah. I feel it's like a bit of a boomer. <laughs> what are you watching that? People watch it. Why don't they just watch the TV show yeah, themselves? I don't understand. Okay, well, it's just wow. like a reaction video, sp but, but it's, it's not. It's not edited. Seems crazy to me. No, I think people also like the chat as well. So it's, it's like, like you're, you're watching there a... watching with a whole bunch yeah. of people okay. oh. and it's like you feel like the stream is your friend. Oh, um, boomer, officially. Like, oh, <laughs> I like watching MasterChef. Oh, I like watching MasterChef with 100,000 other people and this guy talking shit about it. You know, Say funny sense. things that happen. It's like watching with a friend. Yeah, I guess. You just don't have to have any friends. It's perfect. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm understanding it's now. It's pretty crazy. Jackson, I'm sorry you have so many friends that you <laughs> don't understand friends, <laughs> Have you ever noticed that like Twitch goes through metas? Yes, and they definitely. always say yeah. that. Like we're currently, I don't. know, It's probably ending though. The TV show meta because of the copyright, but that was the meta for the top story. Oh, like what's popular, and it was like yeah. the Among Us meta and the Hot Tub meta, and it, it just changes and oh. changes and changes. Grand so what's not a role play is being a big really role. yeah. What? Have you not seen that? No, I don't a big Twitch viewer on oh, big streams. People, there's it's just like there's a mod for Grand Theft Auto, and it's just like a role play server. Did you guys ever play Gary's mod role play? No. Anyway. Um, <laughs> you can talk about it. They're funny. No, I mean, it's just funny. It's just like you're playing and it's like, oh, some people are actually the police and like other people are all doing stuff. Oh, it's, it's like Second Life, that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like that, but in Grand Theft Auto, there's just a big mod of it. It has a lot of opportunities for funny bits. Yeah, exactly. Because when you're role playing, silly things can happen. Like if you're like pretending to be a health stiff police officer and you're like, oh, I'm following the rules and then you actually run over a pedestrian. Like 
the shit rides itself. Like yeah. you yeah. have to try and cover your ass and like actually doing the role play. I can see that being funny. So I get that. Well, wow. what would you guys be in that game? If you could choose any we sort of like role play anything. Big, big mainstream I'd be on only jobs in the game. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say role play <laughs> dominatrix. <laughs> Wait, role play in Grand Theft Auto. Uh, yeah. Like what, what job would you have? Like, would you be a teacher in that game, Jordan? Or would you be <laughs> completely be funny, actually. like something else? Because Jordan, you've done a teaching degree. Yeah, I'll be a but teacher. That obviously sounds you're funny. A that sounds yeah. terrible. My degree finally has some use. Not Who that I finished Who are you teaching? It. Are there like eight-year-olds that are also yeah, playing this me. game? Or is it like a 35-year-old <laughs> man in his mum's basement role-playing as an That's eight-year-old high That's teaching, high by the way. And they're just putting on Oh, that is a bit weird, course. isn't it? This sounds like a crime at this point. It does. It sounds borderline. I might just be a basketball player or something. I would be driving around. Taxi driver. Taxi That'd driver. Be interesting. That's cool. I'd do I that. think there would be so many crazy people playing the game that if you're a taxi driver, you get a little bit of all of it. Yeah. I'll do that. Oh, you, you should know? just drive Uber in real life. No. Nah. Have <laughs> you seen? Have you seen? Yeah, you make money that way and you get the same experience. Have you seen? There's like a YouTube channel of a guy who it's just experiences of being an Uber driver. Yeah. And it really I've popped off. That. Yeah, That'd yeah, be yeah. like you in, in GTA I'll do that. with famous I'll, people. I have a GTA version of it. Yeah, I reckon I'd be the world's first <laughs> helicopter Uber driver in GTA. That's boring. Where you go Why pick people up life? and like do flips and shit, and then you drop off their destination after a nice little chat. This is a huge detour, but do you have to get money to get a helicopter in this game, or how does it work? I haven't played just, it. I, I wouldn't I think too hard about the role play here. Well, know. I'm just wondering if you can just walk in and be a helicopter Uber driver because I might want to do that. I think you can be whatever you want. That's the fun. Wow. Like if you're if you're wow. a teacher that like if you are naughty, they whip out a rocket launcher and shoot you. You can be that. That's pretty cool. That's a good character. That's what you do. But then the police will come and you will get arrested. Mm. What do you want to be, Zach? Ooh, I was going to say an astronaut, but I sort of thought about it. And I was like, astronaut, I was like, oh, it'd be so cool to be in space. But then it's not really the same if it's a video game. Right? They, they're probably <laughs> even programmed space. Yeah, I don't think there's them. any space uh, in GTA. Oh, well. <laughs> I was like thinking of Launching the moment of where the I look out the window and see the curvature of the earth and just think, wow, we're so small. But then it's just like a video on I was, screen. <laughs> I was listening to a podcast of an astronaut and he said he got to that moment and it's like, yeah. Like he didn't actually <laughs> care because he's like, you see it on Google all the time nowadays anyway. Yeah, true. He was like, it's actually not that amazing. <laughs> I was like, oh, that, okay. Uh, that seems like, like it's like you can see a photo of something, but experiencing is so different. I that. would think if you saw the entire yeah. earth, you'd be like, geez. Yeah, that would do it for me. Right? Mate, kind of he, does, he just doesn't want some up and coming smart bloke in high school to steal his job. Oh, he's yeah, like, oh, being true. an astronaut, actually not all it's cracked up to be. And he's up there doing flips and shit in no gravity and he's loving life, <laughs> trying not to get anyone <laughs> this to take is lame, his by job. The way. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Interesting. There would be a lot of lame things about an astronaut though. So he, he might have a point on this one. Well, lose, you lose your work. bones. What? <laughs> <laughs> The NASA takes them. Everyone has to be boneless before they no, go into no, space. Like a chicken tender. You're a human tender. You go to space, mate. Ah, give us your legs. <laughs> Come on. We need that. No, no, no. You lose the density in your bones, apparently, because yeah, okay. there's no gravity pushing on them. Right. Yeah, but you do get taller. I might hit six foot if I go to space for long you enough. You get taller. Yeah. Because oh. well, like gravity to bring you down. But when you come back, do you get smaller? Yeah, eventually. Oh, okay. You'd have about like two nights where you can go clubbing as a six foot person, see if it's really any different. Like if you just pull chicks. Make the Tinder real quick. Yeah, <laughs> come on, six, foot. six foot for now. You yeah. just like call up the girlfriend. Sorry, babe, I'm a single this weekend. <laughs> oh God. Speaking of Twitch, I had my first ever stream the other day. Ooh, Cheeky just segue. chatting. Hot tub. What we got going on? Did a bit of just chatting as I ate my lunch. Did but, you? Uh, <laughs> this is the worst no, stream you ever. Didn't. <laughs> I ate my lunch and then I watched He the played video. Smash before that. But I was that. playing Smash. I played Smash and, and Elden Ring. just talking? Yeah. What, just for a little what bit. What were you doing? Like, what were you Eating about? my lunch. No, what were you talking about? I can't remember. Oh, I don't okay. know. Go on. Keep but uh, it's awesome streaming because I feel like in my YouTube videos, I'm usually like, I like just talking about like chill things that have happened. Yeah. But it's YouTube and you're, you're kind of weird, aren't you? You're just like, I'm talking and then there's nothing happening. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel that. Like you do daily videos. So yeah. I know you've said before you like write <laughs> down stuff. It weird. <laughs> you write down stuff that happens during the week so that you can like tell stories and that. Yeah. But then when you got to chat there, people can actually ask you stuff and you can do the same thing, but interact with the audience. And you get some feedback on it. Like, yeah, if something happened, like. That's way better, Zach. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out conversations are better if it's with a conversation people. and not exactly. a monologue. Yeah. Okay. So uh yeah, I loved it. It was it was very fun. I yeah, I saw more. you, Jordan. It was a pretty good stream. You're on fire. <laughs> oh yeah. 
<laughs> hey, Jordan, you're the man. No, no, no. So the like fire that alarm went off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and I couldn't figure it out for ages. Oh, that's a whole thing, actually. So I was streaming, yeah, and then just beep, 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 the fire alarm started going off. And I was like, what the hell? Nothing was cooking. There was no smoke anywhere. And then I couldn't figure it out. And I tried to get, like, the battery out or something. People were saying in the chat, thanks, chat, helping me out. YouTube, I would have been lost but <laughs> i'm imagining an alternate reality where jordan was recording a video instead of streaming at this time and he's just run out of the house like panicking he doesn't know what's going on i he's was down panicking. the street no i was panicking because i couldn't turn the thing off like i couldn't figure it out and i tried to the thing was like stuck it was supposed the to smoke slide alarm. off yeah and then i was pulling it and i went Whoosh! ripped it out of the roof and it's wired into the roof so now the nails have come out a bit of roof fell down like on the table <laughs> and there's just wires like hanging what <laughs> i could i was just trying to get the battery out but it was a much bigger time a freaking incredible hole <laughs> rips the ceiling out it wasn't in very well i think was the situation just a bit of debris and then this was very dangerous i actually got like a little bit of a shock from like the wires and shit and i was like oh god and i was like sorry you fellas in the stream I gotta, I gotta turn off the power and then actually get the battery out. But yeah, that was a bit Next intense. Next Bobber video. Every time I die in Elden Ring, I touch the smoke alarm <laughs> wires. <laughs> nah, it's very dangerous. Instead of the thing, shock yeah. pen. Don't do that, guys. Yeah, I, I experienced this from being in the chat because I was like, because <laughs> I, I like, I watched the stream for a bit and did a bit of trolling and then you know left for a bit. My only mod, back. by the way. Yeah, <laughs> only mod. Keeping things in check. I was also causing a bit of chaos as well. <laughs> what a terrible mod. Yeah, I was, I was actually being good when I had to be. <laughs> but anyway, it's been a good chaos. Yeah. I'd see Jordan and you'd just hear the constant beeping and he was on full full screen camera mode constant beeping and then he'd come back in and be like guys I don't know what to do <laughs> and then like leave again and go back it'd be another like three or four minutes of beeping and occasional like rustling and banging and then I'd come back and be like it's plugged in. I don't know what to do again. And then I didn't want to leave the stream hanging. It was my first stream. And then he'd run off again before anyone could give him any useful input. And then people being like, is it carbon monoxide? Like I was like, you have like an engine running? Are you going to die? Yeah. Like, and nobody knew what was going on. It was so, I was like Googling, what does a carbon monoxide <laughs> alarm sound like for you to it, try and find out? It was out. just the battery was, it was dead. running out and, yeah, then it, okay. and then it alerts it you that, yeah. and it keeps going. And like, but I it really lets you know though. Oh, it lets you know. <laughs> All right. It didn't stop. And then I turned off the power. It's still going because the battery is kind of just alive. So I turn off the power. Everything's off except the fire alarm. It's still like, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> eventually got it off and then, yeah, fixed it. But yeah. How back to stream. Anyway, my first stream, that was it. <laughs> and then, yeah, you went back to streaming. You restarted, right? I did right? go back to streaming, yeah. Commitment. How much of a search for a fire was there? It sounds like you were like, oh, no fire. How do I no, 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 get rid of, of this alarm? No, because I called my dad, actually. I was like, well, dad, I don't know what's going on. He's like, oh, maybe there's something going on in the roof. But I don't have like a ladder. Mm. So I like opened the manhole, shoved my phone out, like looking around. There was nothing. But yeah, it was just the battery. Okay, well but, done. Yeah. Glad you I thought you'd like rip out of the smoke alarm, go back to streaming, <laughs> and you just see this fire creeping in the doorway. <laughs> the roof, just like, it's like, what up, guys? Join me. <laughs> the the flames encroach. <laughs> The chat's like, oh, yeah, this is lit. Like, there's fire emojis <laughs> in the chat. And they're like, fire. And I'm like, thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, pretty man. lit first stream. Oh, my God. But, yeah, you two have been on the stream for a while now. It's pretty funny. Eh? Yeah, we actually both took part in a Fall Guys tournament. Yeah. Whoa. Is that stream Alfred? that. Yeah, Alfred yeah. ran it. Uh, not sure if it will make it into a video because it's Fall Guys. That game is pretty dead these days. But we both woke up at 4... At, tournament started at 4 a.m. So we woke up at about 3.30 a.m. our time. Oh, yep. That's the, just the problem with entering these American tournaments when you live... And the lag, like, right? On the, yeah, on yeah. the other side of the world. Lag wasn't too bad. It was actually fine. But actually, no, it was terrible. That's why I did so badly. Yeah, yeah. I did so shit. <laughs> so bad. So... For those that don't know what Fall Guys is, which might be a couple people, really quick, it's like a series of mini games. You start with 60 people and you slowly end up with one finalist, one winner. Oh, it's Squid Game. It's, it's Squid Game, Mario Party, Fortnite. Yeah, that probably covers all our bases. Uh, and I actually <laughs> managed to <Surprisingly> win. Accurate. <laughs> I managed to win one of the rounds with 45 other content creators. Oh, brilliant. The, I think there were like five or six rounds that we played. I won one of them for my team. 
Uh, still did not win the whole thing, but you know that was, that was a pretty good. good moment. I saw the moment on on your Twitter. Yeah, the freaking hexagon challenge. Yeah, thing. God, my heart was beating way faster than it should have been for like a for very guys. cartoony like pink and green game. It's like, Woo-hoo! and I'm just like, <gasps> like sweating it out. Like, oh my God, how many spaces do I have left in hexagon? You like, definitely should have had a heartbeat tracker for that. Oh, moment. That I should crazy. have. Man, how do people get those heartbeat trackers? This know. is off topic, but. What is it? It just attaches to you? Does yeah, anyone know? Your thumb normal? Yeah. Oh, that's but connecting so it to the stream and that, that could be a good one to get. Yeah. There you go, Jordan. For a horror game. What about you, Jordan? How, um, sorry. <laughs> Peter, how <laughs> is your smash. overall experience in the Fall Guys tournament? <laughs> well, I've been playing a lot of these tournaments recently because it's a fun thing to do and it's a potential to make videos out of it, you know? Like, because if something goes really awesome or something really interesting happens, you can you always have the option of making it a video mm. and otherwise it's just a fun thing to do. So I've been doing a bunch of those things. Um, Fall Guys probably my worst showing out of all the ones I've ever done. This one was real bad. Like Pokemon Unite was really fun. Did uh, you win something? I won one recently. The Ooh. one. So there's a bit of a story behind that one. So Let's basically, go. the the one was a Smash Bros. and Pokemon crossover. So the idea was is that each Smash creator got paired with a Pokemon creator, and then you played Smash together, and then you're meant to like teach them and carry them. And then you play Pokemon together oh, and they brilliant. teach you and carry oh, you. Oh, this is That's good cool. for you. That's right and I was like, oh man, alley. I'm good at Pokemon. I'm good at Smash. Like I know some of the people in Smash there are better than me, but I think over the average of two, this is like made for me. Yeah. This was the day after the Fall Guys tournament. So me and me and Zach woke up at 3.30 for this one. And we're just like, oh You're my God. Like oh. we're like, we're zombies at this Fall Guys one. We stay up till what, when did it finish? Seven in the morning. Yeah. Uh, and then I was like, well, I'm not going to go to sleep now. So I'll stay up have an early night, Ooh. set an alarm for tomorrow morning uh, and wake up for that one. What time is this one? Turns <laughs> out that their daylight saving changed in between these two days oh. and this one was earlier. Oh, so that's it a actually up. started at 1am instead of 4am for this one. Oh. So I woke up at 330 Oh. Tried to stay up, go to sleep. I set my alarm for 11.45 at night <laughs> because I needed to talk to the person I was playing with before the this event. Is so grim. It was so messed up. So and you slept for like what? Two hours. <laughs> yeah, geez. And you guys ever have when you set an alarm and it's like alarm going off in this many hours. Yeah. It was nine at night and it's like alarm going off in two hours, 45 minutes. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my yeah. God, what a disaster. I can so, just picture the complete black room and your phone just lighting up your face. It's like <laughs> one hour to wake up time. You're like, oh fuck. Yeah, I mean. Pure depression feeling. And so, yeah, um, my alarm went off and I was so fried that I turned it off and went back to sleep. Oh no! <laughs> it's what? a classic. And then I woke Wait, up. Did you realize? Or no, you just no, kind of did it. it have you not have done happened. that before? Never. The I old, have no memory of doing this because I like, must have been so cool. That's crazy. And then I woke up. And you ever wake up knowing you've missed something or you've been late for something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're just in a pure panic. I don't know where I was. I don't know yeah. what time it was. It was pitch dark. And I was just like, <gasps> oh, come on. <laughs> I, 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 I hope I'm not too late. Late. I hope I'm not too late because I my, my alarm must have already gone off. I reach over and pick up my phone. It's 3.30 and I was meant to meet, uh, talk to my partner at 12. What? <laughs> so I've been AWOL for three and a half hours. How? Wait, when did the tournament start? One. What? And so it turns out I missed the entire Smash half of it. So my Pokemon creator had to play Smash with a fill-in who didn't play Smash either. <laughs> So How'd I'm so sorry, Moxie boosted my Pokemon creator because he'd like put in some planning. He planned a team oh and no. like he'd done such a good job with the Pokemon oh no. stuff. And then I just fucking didn't rock up to the Smash part. <laughs> so everyone was very understanding, which was very nice of them. But yeah, we missed the Smash part. They went two and five, which could be worse. Not but bad. I feel like if, because I also talked to him. It was like, oh yeah. I was like, how good are you at Smash? Expect he's like, oh, I'm better than my sister. Yeah. Or like some, he was like, I go to weeklies every week. Oh, oh hey. Yeah, I, yeah. Go, like, I go like one, two or something. I'm not great, but yeah. I go to weeklies. I'm like, we're going to kill this whole thing. You got me, the Pokemon hidden boss. We got you, the Smash hidden boss. And I just let the team down so oh, badly. Man. And then I slept. <laughs> and then I just slept through it. So I feel pretty bad about that. But then we came into the Pokemon part and we actually won the whole thing of the Pokemon part. Which was really My cool. Man. So well like the Wait. team he made was very smart. And the way the thing worked is it's a double battle. 
you control one Pokemon each, but you can't talk while you're doing it. Whoa. So oh, they can't funny. just tell you what to do. And so the Smash people, they made some pretty stinky mistakes. Yeah. And on the second turn of the whole battle, I used an electric move when there was a Pokemon with an ability that absorbs all electric moves and powers them up on the field. There was something with a lightning rod and I was like, yeah, I'll just kill this thing with my electric moves. Nah. See it. And oh, I, I was no. that guy making the big mistake at the start. <laughs> but we got better over time. We won the whole thing. So good job, Moxie Shut Brewster. Up. That's sick. Oh, congrats. But yeah, I did fuck up. We could have won the whole thing so easy. I, we had it. I, oh, I was going to say, I definitely do like kind of Alfred and uh, new more content creators meta of like having tournaments and stuff. And you for like the big Smash tournaments. I think it makes oh, such yeah. good videos of just like a whole tournament. You get so many different people and stuff with mm. other things you're in. And then it just makes great videos. And then also now we all get an experience like that as well. It's so hard to compete on YouTube these days with stuff like that. Like Mr. Beast will do like, 30 content creators hide and seek and then oh, it's man. like imagine one person with no connections trying to start a youtube channel dude you're like you're done I you need like like you can say like oh just think of a good idea which is like the main way to sort of go viral but when your good idea is competing with like 10 creator collabs all with 10 million subscribers <laughs> each it's really rough out there i watched mr b's video this morning the escape room one because mm. i was just i was just wanting to watch it and then i was like geez this is absolutely crazy every room is like i don't even know i'm noticing how much i'm saying like at the moment that's okay. i've lost my mind but <laughs> <laughs> But it's yeah, it's just crazy. It's just each room probably cost I don't even know how much fifty grand to make or ten twenty <laughs> grand to make. And it's just oh, geez. I think the part in that video specifically that really blew me away the most is they had this room where they'd worked with this what's his name the magician YouTuber oh, yeah, yeah, Zach King. That. Yeah, they were like we worked with Zach King to make these really awesome trick doors and like he's a huge collab and it's like but they just found the one straight away and they just skipped that whole room. It was like, but yeah. they found this one straight away and moved on. And they, you, that whole room took maybe 10 seconds of the I video. Know. And it was this collab with someone who would like make a small channel like for life. It's Isn't like 10 he like seconds. the biggest or one of the biggest like TikTokers or something? He's huge. I think he's, he's got the most viewed TikTok of all time. Yeah. It's him riding around on a broom and it's like Harry Potter and then it turns into a mirror. So it's like, it looks like he's floating, but he's... It's like not. an illusion. Yeah, oh, so sure. Mr. Beast is, yeah. oh, we did a collab with this guy. Moving on. <laughs> Just like, whoa, okay. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, I, I think... Although you do see those random videos pop off occasionally, like, you know, like there are those ones that just will not leave your recommended. Do you guys have this? Mm, There's a video that you don't want to watch, but it's like playing up next every single time. And I had mm. this thing when I was going to sleep the other night because I was so fried after doing all these things. I fell asleep with my phone in my hands like watching a video. Yeah. And then I woke up the next morning and then I like over my YouTube and I'm like 20 minutes into <laughs> the strange history of Disney Fast Pass. And I was like, I don't <laughs> oh. want to watch it. No. <laughs> and I'm giving them 20 minutes of watch time because I fell asleep. And I'm like, I really didn't want to watch this. And YouTube has been pushing it on me so much. Dude. And now YouTube's like, oh, he loves this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Give him 20 more. minutes. For Give God's more. sake, I, I have, don't want to watch I it. I have to say though, that video goes hard. <laughs> Good video. Good it. Good video. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. Oh, His shit. history of Disney's Fast Pass. Yeah, and it's, it's like a com hour. it's a complicated history of Disney's Fast Pass as well. What is, is the Fast Pass? Is it least you skip the like, line? Yeah. God, so I'm when you go to Disney <laughs> <laughs> Zach, When you go to no Disneyland, action. all the lines are like one hour to two hours yeah. long yeah. of a wait time, depending on how popular the ride is. Yeah. And you can get this thing called a fast pass, which basically lets you skip forward and go to the fast pass line. <laughs> where it's, like, it's like the classic Seinfeld thing where you go through the waiting room in the doctors yeah. and there's a smaller one, yeah. classic stand-up thing. It's like you go from the giant waiting line for this ride and you go into the fast pass line, which is still like 20 to 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I think this is from about 10 years ago. So I hope I'm remembering correctly. You should watch this video, Zach. Get a bit brushed up on it. <laughs> but seriously, um, that video is like an hour and 30 minutes about wow. Disney fast pass. I love and I'm shit like, like that. I could so not funny. imagine myself sitting down and watching that. A for deep dive into something irrelevant is one of my favorite things to do on YouTube. <laughs> That's definitely. a huge YouTube rabbit hole. What's, what's your most recent one? Oh, Because I've had a big one. That's what brings me. Do you want me to go, go first? Go first, I'll have a thing. I feel like I've been talking about myself too much, but it's no, just- No, go for it. There was this one and it's terrariums. People building terrariums and like, like tanks of like with animals and plants oh. and like buy. It's like, dude, I should start a bioactive vivarium. Like, I'm so inspired, dude. This is so you. 
it's just like, and they're so therapeutic to watch. And then like they put the stuff in the soil that like eats all the leaf litter and you don't need a filter because you've got all these little animals in there. It's a whole thing. Oh my thing. God. And I, I watched maybe two hours of it like the other day <laughs> of like different ones. That was so interesting. I haven't been down a rabbit hole like that in a while. I don't know. Well, mine's kind of actually sick. I've watched heaps of aquarium videos like people say of aquariums, Ooh. but it's kind of like no filter challenges. So they have to put heaps of plants in and set it up in a certain way. Oh, so the- it's oh, really man, people. Dying. Yeah. People turning like owning fish into YouTube challenges. Oh, it's That's amazing. so good. It's, it's like two teams, one liter versus 10,000 <laughs> liter fish tank challenge. <laughs> Surely there's people doing that, my right? deep dive. I have seen two hours sort of in thing. my fish tank or something. Like, <laughs> last one to leave my tank wins or something. <laughs> Mr. Beast is going to get onto this soon. <laughs> no, no. Last fish to leave the castle wins $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh. So Speaking of terrariums, uh, we actually have a friend, you know, Jacob? Okay. The edible? Well, oh, I do. Or, yeah, yeah, may yeah. or may not be called yeah, yeah. Jacob. Yep, yep, yep. I do. But uh, he, one of our mates, he owns a bunch of lizards. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, it's cool. But then one of them caught a very rare lizard disease that's extremely contagious. Oh. So they had to quarantine this one lizard in a spare room. I haven't been there what? myself, but one of my friends went over and they said that this one room just stank so much because the lizard had just been quarantined there and it was throwing up on everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> so imagine Dude. a room. It's like that's just completely filled with lizard puke stench. Surely it's in a container in the room. Yeah, but the okay. smell escapes. Jeez. Jesus Christ. It's not just running loose on the carpet or something, throwing up, hopefully. All I'm saying is there may be a dark side to terrariums, Peter. Not yeah. sure if you want to get into it too <laughs> soon. Rare lizard disease, dark side. <laughs> the lizards, you got to give them crickets. I had a friend at, a, at his house. He's like got a lizard and then he's trying to feed it crickets, but he's scared of the crickets. <laughs> He's the <laughs> okay. It's not my friend. It's my friend's little brother, right. and it's his lizard. And then he's trying to because the crickets are alive still. So him himself is scared of them. The little brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's scared of the crickets, and he's trying to get the crickets, and he's like screaming, trying to put them <laughs> in this container so he can bring them to the lizard to eat. And it's like you have to have pets, and you feed the crickets like pellets. Yeah. So they're you know, feeding the food. <laughs> you're scared then, of the food. And then he's screaming because he's scared of the food, and he's trying to grab it and give it to the lizard to eat. So basically, to have a lizard for a pet, you need to keep crickets also as a pet, which yes. you feed. <laughs> yeah. Oh my What do the crickets eat? Yeah. What a mission. Yeah, well, like, then. Or something. Okay, what and are the pellets? Scared of the pellets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems like a lot of work for something that doesn't move. Yeah, I think about wanting a pet, and then I think about it's just all these things are just too hard oh, for me at the moment. I've got my fish tank up and running, and I'm loving doing maintenance. I used to just be like, really? oh, I hate cleaning the water, all this shit, and now I just find it so therapeutic. I cannot explain That's it. That's so wow. good. It's like meditative to me now. You're Put my music on all the time. Oh, we love it. We just sit in front of it and watch it for hours. We don't watch our TV as much anymore. I actually, I was a big judge on the You're fish nice. when when I used to live with Jackson and then yeah. he was like, I want to get a fish tank. I was like, okay, fish seem kind of boring to me. When you get the fish and you start looking at them and I used to go with Jackson to pick up fish from the like aquarium yeah. store and I was looking at all the fish and Jackson would like tell me what each one is and yeah. like why they're cool. And I was really getting into fish the most I've ever been in my <laughs> life. And then when you put them in the tank, we're just like... Like you said, watching the fish. Yeah, it's, it's really meditative. I can't quite explain how calming it is for me. And like the more I learn, the more I'm interested. I'm like, oh, that one's now doing that one. Like the males what? and the females start courting each other. Oh. They're like showing off their fins and also like all this crazy stuff. Oh, I've wow. just been loving it. That's it's my new so hobby. Cool. Is that what people did like before TVs were invented? They I just suppose. like stared at random <laughs> things. Honey, you want to watch 30 minutes of fish? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, stare what? at the fish tank for like, 30 they minutes? they just got like a TV dinner. They've got a little tray on their lap and a fish tank <laughs> on the tank. table in uh, front of them. What do you think came first? Having fish at home or TVs? Definitely fish at home. But you need like a whole machine. Not Ooh. for like a, a not for a goldfish bowl. Like you just need a couple little plants and stuff. You don't need a lot of stuff for every Ooh, fish. I don't know. Well, I wonder what comes first. Because the thing is, these bioactive tanks, you have enough plants and stuff to not need that stuff. But where would you have gotten the fish from in the first place? Oh, it's know. a real chicken or the egg situation. <laughs> chicken or the egg, fish but it's fish tank TV. or TV. 
I feel like we've kept fish for longer as a society than we've owned TVs, <laughs> okay. but TVs haven't been in our houses as long. I'm going to Google can it. I do you a, guys oh, talk amongst yourselves. Oh, I was about to say, Where can I do a large balls? detour on this topic? Because I no. feel like it may have run its course. No. Yeah. When do it and then Peter will pop we'll in. We'll bring it back answer. real quick later. But yeah, yeah just have that ready for the end of the episode, Peter. I want to tell you guys- I'm screaming it as soon as I hear it. <laughs> I'm not saving it. Yeah. I want to tell you guys about what happened to me over the weekend. Uh, I got very drunk. That's a weird one. Yeah, that's a, that's a new one for me. <laughs> but it was at my girlfriend Maddie's parents' house. and Ooh, Good place to get we drunk. Had, yeah, we had organized to meet up for a bit of a chill catch up. And we Very had chill. brought over our electric scooters, which me and Maddie have recently got. A couple of electric scooters. <laughs> this is a great setup for a story, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> Very drunk, going for a chill meeting. At Zach my does not know French chill. parents on our electric scooters. <laughs> and little to my knowledge, uh, Maddie's dad wanted to go with me to the pub on the scooters, get a couple of beers, which I was like, okay. Now, Maddie's dad is a very manly man, I feel like is the way to put it. Uh, he used to be in the army, just like loves drinking rum, you know, that sort of thing. Mm. So didn't want to turn him down, going to the pub for a few beers during the day. It was good. Ended up matching his rum and Cokes with pints of beer, which kind of works out to be twice the standard drinks. Yeah, but bigger. you know when you're drinking with someone, they're like, oh, I'm getting another drink. You want one? We're kind of doing like rounds. How are you drinking a full pint as quick as he's having a rum see, and coke? Yeah, Have you and met Zach before? Yeah, yeah I do drink. so much. If I have a drink in front of me, I would just sip it very fast. See, I wasn't. I would have like half of it left and he's like, do you want another one? I was like, yeah, I guess I'll just skull the rest of this oh, one. Rum and coke's so small. So I think I had five beers and then- Five pints. Five pints of beer, so that's yeah. probably ten standard 10 drinks. Beers, really, in a few hours, and then we went for the scooter ride home. Very different story to the scooter ride there, and I was looking a bit wobbly. And then we go, we're doing like cutting how, across how people's lawns as well. Oh, maybe like a kilometer or two. Okay, it's not far. It's not a very not, not a very far, far journey. Is this illegal? Are you gonna get arrested for saying this? No. And the scooters go up to about <laughs> twenty k's an hour. But haven't you hacked them? Um, sorry, I mean He's this, going to jail. <laughs> this scooter ride <laughs> This scooter ride was actually before the drinks. Yeah. <clears throat> they, anyway. they put the beers in the backpack, the five pints. Yeah. And yeah took yeah. them home. Yeah, just cover my bases. Anyway, we're scooting home. A friend did this. Going about 20 Ks an hour. And we're going on the footpath. Sometimes we're cutting onto people's lawn. Sometimes, if you're me, we're cutting onto people's lawn and riding over a ditch that had a sprinkler in. Big drop off, <laughs> hit the pavement, and then flew off the scooter, landed like straight on my face. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so you tore off, a lot, of, tore off yeah. a lot of skin on my hand. It's kind of healed up oh, now. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then, but then because uh, my girlfriend's dad like used to be in the army, didn't want to look like a bloody pussy. So I got straight up and I was like, nah, I'm fine, mate. No, and then we- I'm good, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I just pretended like it didn't really hurt at all, which to my credit- uh, the drinks that I may or may not have had made it so that it didn't hurt very How much. How is that to your credit? <laughs> <laughs> to my credit, I was actually wasted. <laughs> smashed. <laughs> and then, but me. later that night, I also discovered a massive scratch on my hip. So oh, a lot of damage. No. And then, fuck, it hurt the next day. Like, you ever, you ever go out drunk and you get some kind of injury and you're like, oh, no worries, mate. You just continue. And then the next day you're like, Oh, what the hell did I do? I do that sober just because of toxic masculinity, but don't have to be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to play it off like yeah. it doesn't hurt. Nothing ever hurts around the boys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that was We're the same. Fine. <laughs> like the Black Knight from Monty Python. <laughs> <laughs> no limbs just at all. Just a scratch. <laughs> you run away, eh, coward? <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was my first scooting accident. That and is we've right. had the scooters for less than a month. Wait, so did you just face plant on the person's front lawn? No, it wasn't on the lawn. It was on the pavement. So like Ooh, the sprinkler I'm was next to the driveway. Up more on your legs. He was so. airborne from the hole yeah. to the pavement. Wow. Yeah, Cleared the grass. Missed the grass. Perfectly landed on the bitch on the uh, pavement. On the bitch. <laughs> on the bitch. <laughs> the worst place to stop that. One. I was gonna yeah. say. I was gonna say bitumen. <laughs> uh, but have you guys <laughs> ever had a dog any- walked out? Dead. <laughs> Land on the bitch. Just flattened a local chihuahua. Landed on the bitch. That's right. I don't have a scratch. Okay. Um, I was going to ask if anyone else has had some very in- 
epic drunk injury stories. I've not the mine's never, too epic. I've never done anything. You've never like hurt that. yourself when drunk. No. I find that very hard to believe. I don't think believe. I have either. I, can't think you, I know you've fallen I don't and drive jumped in a pool. I scooters at 20 k's an hour. Like, I don't, I'm just sitting down. I'm drunk. Nothing <laughs> crazy <laughs> happens. I'm just sitting down. <laughs> no, I've done similar stuff, but not necessarily when I've been drunk. Just like I was riding a. Do you guys. Ripsticks, you guys. Yeah. You guys yeah. Yeah. Ripsticks. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Well, we had the one that Wait, came before that. Oh, okay. I'm sure everyone knows what a ripstick is. <laughs> do they? I don't think they. It's do. like a skateboard, but different. Anyway, you only have on. two wheels, and they're pretty wibbly wobbly. That's yeah. kind of their whole bit. Well, we had like the precursor to that before ripsticks were invented. Like, but it's effectively the same thing. I was riding home because I used to live across from a park when I was in school. I don't really remember. Mm-hmm. And I knew the path there really well. You know, when you're really familiar with an area, you're like, you know what speed you can take corners at, yeah. like riding a bike or a skateboard, or whatever. I was pretty confident with this area and I knew the paths I could take. And so I'm going towards, it's almost like a T-junction. And then I see like a nice, like young, like mother walking a pram, just looking very wholesome on the path in front of me. And my brain does the math and I see that if I'm gonna like go at my normal pace down this path, I'll probably like collide or be be in their way so i'm like i'll just go a little bit faster no problem uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, but no you problem. can already see where this is going <laughs> right uh there's no brakes on these things they're really hard to stop the only way you can stop is by jumping off it's like a skateboard but less stable yeah and so i speed up i try to take this corner and i i just sped up enough to only be maybe like one to two meters in front of the person with their pram. So like I was right in front of them the way they were walking. And then I like hit some grass in between like the cracks and absolutely eat shit in front of them on the path and just like, like roll down. And I was just so embarrassed. It's like Zach in front of like uh, Maddie's dad, just so embarrassed. And they're like, Oh my God, are you okay? And I find that every time I hurt myself, it's I'm more embarrassed than I oh, am injured. hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. I'm always more embarrassed. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm good. And then <laughs> I like pick up, I was only maybe like 300 meters from my house. So I like, I pick up my board and just start limping home in front <laughs> oh. of this person. I was just, oh, I had a huge scrape on my knee. Like oh. when you're a kid and Damn. I wasn't drunk. I was just a stupid child, but you, same thing really. You have <laughs> completely unlocked a memory of me riding home and I see the girl that I liked and I, I'm on my scooter. <laughs> I wave. Like, this is a um, this is a razor scooter though. Razor isn't it? scooter. Yeah, back in the day. And I'm riding. I wave to her. She waves back. As I look, there's a pavement jumped up like this. I swear to God, I hit it and like do a roll <laughs> and like kind of land back on. This is how it was in my head. It probably definitely didn't come out like this. But I kind of rolled and was landed back on my scooter and then was like, No, you didn't. <laughs> this is how I remember you it. Did it. Did this is how I remember it. <laughs> this is how I remember it. And then I just was like, That is definitely not how it went. <laughs> You saw your I remember doing like life. a big roll and then just waving again. <laughs> <laughs> All good. This is like in the movies. You know the scene where he sees the girl, it goes slow motion and he's like looking and then like she's her hair's flowing in yeah. the wind. It's like beautiful lighting and the guy's just looking at her and then he hits a post yeah. or something. That's exactly, exactly what, what you've it is. done. Except that I've had a huge miraculous recovery in my memory. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that memory. <laughs> that I like is. rolled forward on this scooter and landed back on it and waved. For her <laughs> it was the opposite. She sees sexy Jackson as he like slow-mo does a front flip <laughs> dum, 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 and then goes <laughs> Are you sure you didn't just slam your head on the pavement so hard that you <laughs> I was really a helmet, so maybe it just sort of scraped along and then the roll over. <laughs> oh, that was so full funny. Front flip with a scooter. As Peter's telling the story, I'm analyzing, going, "That can't be right." <laughs> <laughs> that is just how I remember it's that amazing. being. Memories anyway. are like that, though. You remember certain bits, and then over time, your story is not true. I watched you know? something about this and about how your brain like changes memories to fit like narratives and it stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. In a couple of years, it's going to be a double front flip in the story. <laughs> <laughs> when we're getting married. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that time I did triple front with a half twist. So anyway, that's that's about oh, memory. Wait, Peter, it's killing me. Is it the TV or the fishbowl that came <laughs> first? I need to know. <laughs> oh my God. The fish tank definitely came first. Yeah. But Ooh. they were pretty primitive until the times where they were TV. So I wouldn't say that you'd probably have a good one in your house. Yeah. But they were pretty yeah. primitive. Like they started in the 1850s, but they kind of sucked. Wait, the bowls? Yeah, the fish tanks. Oh. Mm. There, you, there go. you go. Well, there you go. But they were first, but they kind of sucked. So maybe you wouldn't have one in your house. They yeah, were that's more what widespread in the 50s after yeah. TVs were definitely like starting to be a thing. Mm, there you go. So it's close. We're learning I think out maybe here. before they just stared at a vase of flowers or something when they had dinner. I don't know. Yeah, what did people do? The radio. Talk. Radio. Radio. I think talk. 
Yeah. We're like, what technology did they have? I don't understand. Yeah, probably just like abuse minorities or something. That's olden days. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but even like medieval times, have a good chat. Oh, they were probably just scared of getting their heads cut off. They probably didn't have time to think about anything else. Every day. Our heads. <laughs> Eating dinner. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Jordan. Any stacks, Jordan? Oh, any, no, any, stacks? any stacks? Uh, any what? Oh, Prefer- any preferably stacks. when drunk. Did I talk about my toe? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't imagine I mean, not today. <laughs> no, I not oh, it? Jordan, enough about your toes, <laughs> you mate. Mentioned your toe at I, some point in your we've life. We've heard no, about no, the toes no, every it week. Was recent. It was recent. Guys, we got to cut out his toe stories from every I, podcast. You don't understand. Maybe I just mentioned this on my YouTube. I don't, don't know the toe story. I don't know the toe story yet. Oh, good. Spider? No one watches Wait. the YouTube. <laughs> oh. Stop. No spoilers, Jordan. Okay, okay. spider now? No, well, so it's not really. Well, it's not drunk at all. I was asleep the whole time. But uh, <laughs> that's a basically Zach when he's drunk. The so poor man's drunk. Off. Yeah. Continue. So what happened was I'm asleep and I sleep talk occasionally. Um, and so this is what happened, but it's according to Holly. So maybe allegedly, yeah, allegedly this is what happened. You did a front flip. <laughs> <laughs> Woke up, seven back flips, three front flips out the roof. Anyway, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> um, so. I woke up and I was just screaming, spider, like spider, spider, like we're both in bed. And then I do kind of have this visual memory of what I saw was on the bed, on top of the quilt, was this massive red back spider that was probably like this big. I don't know. How can I explain <laughs> for it? For the like, podcast it's like listeners. It's dinner plate. Or yeah. It's a bit bigger. Yeah. Can we get something that isn't this big for all of our <laughs> audio listeners? Yeah, bit, it bit looked bigger, about a foot, maybe two. A bit bigger than a dinner plate, a massive spider. So- it's pretty um, understandable why I was freaking out. Yep. And I'm just going, spider, spider, spider. And then I jump out of bed and the our bed has like drawers that you can pull out underneath and it was open. And I jump out and just slam my toe <laughs> into the bed as I do it. I'm still asleep this whole hey, time. Did that not wake you up? And then I kind of come to... Did you guys ever sleep talk? A little bit, yeah. No, but Maddie does. And it. I get what you mean about like, People doing stuff that they have zero memory of. Half conscious. Yeah, but yeah. you kind of come to as you're doing it. Like I remember it'd be like, I'd be talking about cables and I'm not making any sense. And then Holly's like, what do you mean? And then I'm like, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> it's like you kind of come to halfway through. You realize you're talking nonsense. <laughs> this happens to you all the time. Yeah. When you're awake as well, mate. <laughs> no. Sometimes you just be talking and go, maybe what do I mean? Maybe it's just me. But uh, no, I kind of come to and then I'm standing out. Like I wake up and I'm outside of the bed and I'm like, ow. And my toe is just bleeding. Oh, like, God. So, like I slammed it. Like, you know, when you stub your toe and it hurts, just stubbing it. I hit it so hard that it's bleeding. It was like three months ago at this point and it's still bruised like this is just bruise on my toe and uh yeah it really really hurt and i like <laughs> go back into bed and i'm just like ah and i'm just staring at the roof trying to sleep it was like the ultimate stubbing of the toe Damn. experience Ow. That is rough. That is awful. But yeah, that's pretty rough that it happened to me while I was asleep as well. It's <laughs> like, I didn't even, it wasn't even my Can't fault. Got to be called like an idiot. Yeah, it's it like, just like I was asleep <laughs> and I did that. But do, yeah. Do you that's, find that with like injuries or where you hurt yourself or something, there are the people like I, I feel like me in me and Zach's situation where you just try to like play it down as much as you can because you're embarrassed and you just don't want anyone to make a fuss over you. But there are also some people that will really play it up because they enjoy getting fussed over. Soccer players. Soccer players. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys have you guys ever noticed that there's some yeah, people definitely, like definitely, definitely. I don't definitely. think I've ever played yeah, like, up an injury. I, no, I'm sure you're probably not part of those people, but like kids definitely do that. It's people I, that seek attention more, which not to make it too negative yeah. of a connotation, but like kids do seek more kids attention. Kids definitely do that. And they want to be the some same. adults, but well, it's like seeking like sim- sympathy. As yeah. Well. You're just like, yeah. Oh, that hurts so much. Oh, help me. Ah! Cause I could <laughs> oh. never imagine doing that. But some people are a bit like that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Brooke's nah. like really clumsy and would just like accidentally sit on my balls or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, what are you I doing? Know, brother? That's an like, what is this situation? Ah, no I just accident, feel like, brother. Oh, she's like, get over it. I'm like, oh, that really hurts. <laughs> but never only really do it around here. I'm just realizing. Otherwise I'll be like, uh, yeah, it's a good hurt. situation to like do it in. Cause <laughs> <laughs> it, it, <laughs> oh, yes, my daily four being <laughs> ball sitting. Oh, I'm gonna need you to put some ointment on it. Oh. Keeps it better. Oh, oh babe. 
<laughs> it says apply oily orally. orally. Oh. <laughs> Jackson's standing with his balls in the door frame, hoping she'll close it on him. <laughs> When's she coming home? <laughs> That's a great mental picture. <laughs> Oh man! I should have oh, used man. a different example, but like if we're like on the couch, it's like she'll just kind of randomly just like I don't know, elbow me or something. She could oh, could no. be a bit more going on here. I'm just realizing. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like you might be getting secretly fucking wailed on. <laughs> but then if that that's the only situation where I'll be like, oh, like play it up, just yeah, for like I don't know the lols fair. maybe. But yeah, other than yeah. that, otherwise I'm like, no, it didn't hurt, <laughs> didn't lol. hurt. Well, I think it depends. Jackson breaks his leg and she's like, I'm not taking you to the hospital again, mate. <laughs> He's just doing it for <laughs> the lols. For real. <laughs> I think like it depends on what reaction you're expecting to get. Mm. Because if like Brooke's like, oh, get over it. You're not going to be like, oh, oh. oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, she really she nice doesn't, about she already it. doesn't care. So you need to like make yeah. her care. I don't know. Whereas just, I feel like with, with Sophie, I like, she might be like, you know, I, I'll have my arm around her and I'll like move it a little bit because it's a little bit uncomfortable after like 20 minutes. She's like, oh my God, sorry, sorry. I don't want to hurt your arm. I'm like. <laughs> It's okay. It's, it's, it's totally, totally fine. Brooke sitting on my balls. Oh, you'll be right yeah. <laughs> That was so two of them for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> that reaction was so alien to me because Sophie always kind of overreacts. And I'm like, no, no, it's it's fine. Like, it's totally fine. Oh. Whereas Brooke's like, oh, get over yourself, you big I, pansy. I think because I just like making her feel terrible for like the laughs. So like, I think she's just over it now. She just doesn't believe yeah. it. You guys Does are she? like two psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely are. Does Brooke understand how much getting hit in the balls hurts? Uh, yeah, she did. Well, she used to be very sympathetic and now she doesn't care. <laughs> How like, times I've had a, happen? Uh, I sit on my own balls sometimes. Do you guys ever do that? No. no well well hung gamer yeah, over here. Well well over dro- here. Dro- dro- droopy balls. <laughs> yeah, dude, I hate when I accidentally kick them when I'm walking. I can't believe you guys never sit in your balls before. <laughs> really? No. Oh, that's crazy. All right, play Well, on. I was going to say that like I had a similar incident here we go. when my balls were struck <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh Maddie just didn't realize that it hurt that much. So like she was kind of started out what with was the like the context of this happening. It Do was not to nothing. To, uh, no, no bad sort of context. Oh, okay, I it don't was know like she was like tried no, ball torture on you. It You're was like, babe, that actually hurts. <laughs> it was an accident, but it was kind of like a oh sorry, and then I was like oh, and then she was like oh wait, does it actually hurt that much? It was like not realizing that That's like so it funny. is very it's painful. You get after. Well, Maddie doesn't have a brother, stomach. right? No, she only got a sister. That that's might be oh, right. There Good it point. is. I like How it. many times did your sister hit you in the? I balls? mean, she would have been around when I got hit in the balls because you hang around all the time. Oh, yeah, kid. I feel like as a kid, yeah. it happens a lot. For it's some not like she was Sport, using it as a fucking games, like, like roof attached punching bag. You know the ones that the people do speed <laughs> things on. Yeah. Like, it <laughs> <would have> been, <laughs> yeah. That sounds like Brooke and Jackson from the sounds of things. <laughs> Get like over that. it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, that feels like as good a place as any to start <laughs> wrapping up this podcast. Yeah, now we've riled up all the I gamers th- who are into that shit. I think we've truly peaked, unless anyone has anything else they want to get off their mind no, quickly. not really. No, I might I'm go have a cold chill. shower now. That sums it up. Yeah. <laughs> I shrink them, shave them, get them back in. <laughs> I don't want to sit on them. Yeah. When you start talking about balls, I feel like that's about time to run out of conversation <laughs> topics. Remember to smack the subscribe buttons, balls, and, <laughs> and we won't apologize. <laughs> and oh, yeah, boy. no, but seriously, please do subscribe, like, and comment if you like the podcast, support this new channel, and yeah. we hope to see you here every week. See you next week. DM, <laughs> maybe. Nah, I believe.